Hello everyone, I'm Greek Look, thank you for joining me, and welcome for the first time to Satisfactory, which is a game I've been looking forward to quite a lot. Uh, it is, well, it has been available in early access for a while, and it is still in early access. I've just been trying to hold off on it because it's a 3D game, and early access 3D games are sometimes a bit of a miss. It is an automation game. Quite a lot like Factorio, except that it's 3D, as you can imagine. Uh, and this is my second attempt at trying to record this series, because I did just record two hours, but then was told that my voice couldn't be heard over the game and the music and so on. So we are just going to try and start over again. Uh, we will just start a new game, so now I have two hours of experience in the game, of course, but otherwise I haven't even tried it at all. But we will just start a new game here. There's a bit of uh, some different difficulties to start with. These are for more advanced or more experienced players. These both seem to be okay for new pioneers. This is only suitable, this is ideal. And I do like the green stuff more than the desert stuff, so this is where we will start. So let's just make a game private. Let's not skip the intro, because it's interesting. And I think I might actually only just have gotten past the intro with my two hour recording session. Because it adds some stuff at the start. Let's just go through that again, because it might just make me more confident in whatever, and it might show you guys what we're doing as well. Session name already in use. Break look to go. Well, I did delete the other session, but apparently the game doesn't recognize that. Too bad. So as I understand it, Pixit is our company that we work for. And they were once sending us to the planet. And yeah, they will help Attention us through here. everything at the, the start. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Yes, please. I like that. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make yes, sure to another good any thing. unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. So we do research. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. <laughs> yes. Sounds good. That's it. And spaghetti builds. And be effective. Be Warning, effective. Planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during the procedure. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. I just love the term planet fall. It sounds so ominous. But it is just a normal entry into the atmosphere. So our job is to try and scout out this new planet for our company, build up some stuff to help us do it, build some stuff to help the company I guess, and do research and so on. I haven't really gotten too far so I don't know a bit just what we are going to be told soon I guess. What a landing. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Okay, welcome to the planet. Welcome to Planet Massage 2ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. 
IMADA, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Thank you. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Thank you. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Okay. Note. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. I'm sure you do not. F to dismantle. Thank you. Mass dismantle with control. Okay. That's actually something I didn't see in my last attempt at this. Uh, close. Okay. All important fixit data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. So we will have to open the codex apparently, and I guess close it again. Second objective. Oh, Please ensure it. you have your fixit incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Okay. Note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial oh, threats. Dang it. So yeah, we have a bit of a server here. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource <laughs> scanner. Taking to too find much iron. damage here. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Okay, we need iron. Hello there. So I'm just gathering some resources here because we need it for fuel for our power production. But I guess we should just follow the the instructions for now. So they want us to scan the area for iron. So we have some in this direction, 290 meters. And the direction 320 meters. Mm, I think last time I went this way, so I will just do that again. Please don't hurt me. I th think at least that the the game is not procedurally generated, so I'm guessing we have the same areas here. Uh, though it doesn't really look like it. Maybe I'm just going in the wrong direction. Yeah, this over here might be more right. So yeah, we need a lot of this, these leaves and the wood we find for fuel production. Yeah, this is more right with what I, where I went last time. Spoiler, this is copper down here and we will need that in a bit, but we can't use it yet. Okay, let's just scan again. So, we have iron up here and a lot more down there. And down there is where we will end up building, but let's just gather some iron up here for now. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. And we don't like non-optimal progress as here. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. So yeah, we will just build down here, because there's a lot more iron, and a lot more open space. Let's just take that, because we can eat all of these berries for health region. Eat, dang it.
So yeah, we need to build a hub. How to do that? Like this. And as I learned in my last attempt, there's some power generation on one end of this that we will need access to. So we will just build it like this because I think the power generators are going to be here. Unless I'm wrong. Mm. I'm wrong. Let's undo that again if we can. Congratulations. You have Thank unlocked you. hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade one. So I guess Note, this is more the craft correct. bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. I think so. Okay. So we need to make hub upgrades in here in tier zero. We need ten iron rods. And to get ten iron rods, we need to process our iron into iron ingots. And then when we have ten of these, we can make them into iron rods. There we go. And we put them in there, and then we upgrade this up with some bars. Nice. Congratulations! You have unlocked a building workshop, chest. equipment portable miner, inventory additional slots, hub feature personal storage. Sixth objective: complete hub upgrade two. Note: portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Okay, so we can now uh, make portable miners. Uh, but we need to build a workshop first to be able to make that. And I think we're just going to put it down over here. But it does require resources. So we're missing iron plate and iron rod. Okay, we need to produce that. After we make some iron ingots. Let's just process a bunch of these for now. Up there for now. Make some iron plates. Two, four rods. I think it was six of these. Maybe it was the other way around, but yeah, it was the other way around. Great. More plate, please. And of course, this is something we'll go. We're going to automate very soon. Okay, so let's just build this down here. Yay. And then we can make a portable miner in here. Craft. Okay. Actually, I think we want more, so can we make some more iron rods? Only one, but if we make the rest of these. Should be a bit better. Yeah, we can get two more now. We do need a lot of iron. Maybe not at the start here, but soon we will need it anyway. So let's put these down. Maybe just kill these first. Whoops. Thank you for your carapace. I have no idea what you're going to use that for yet, but I guess we'll find out soon. Let's just place them all right here. Maybe get some more iron ore from here, because this prevents us from <coughs> eventually putting down a more automated miner. 
And we can just pick up iron ore from these. Good. What else is the tipsy plane? We need to complete the hub upgrade too, of course. Let's see what that's about after we store some stuff here. Wood. These flower petals that are just for coloring, I think. Let's equip this again. Find our hub upgrade and select it as a milestone. So we need a lot of iron rods and some more plates. But it will allow us to do new stuff. Like making a smelter to automate the smelting of our ores. And scanning for copper ore. So yeah, this is our goal. Let's make the more iron ingots so we can make the stuff for this goal. So we need 20 just for the, or 18 for the rods and another 15 for the plates, I believe, according to my past math. So this should be it. Oh, that was without the extra plates we already had, so... And now I used too much, never mind. We will just do more of these, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> okay. There we go, that should be everything. Yes, please. And another upgrade finished. And now we actually have power generation. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner as feature, well as a small cover, room here. new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three, note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so we need to make smelters and we need to power them with this thing that takes leaves or wood for that matter. Uh, so I guess we need to find out how much we need for these. Iron rod 5, wire 8. Okay, so we need to find cover first of all. We have that over there, so I already know where that is, but we need a automated miner for that. A portable miner, and we need more iron rod for that. Let's just get a bit more iron ore, because I want to put down three portable miners over there. And if we only have enough iron for two, might as well take from all of these then. Okay, make some more ingots here. Well, I guess we only really need the 12. Like that. Whoops. And then we make three of these. They're not really that expensive, so... I might as well get it up and running as soon as possible. And we do need them for the automated miners, or the better miners later on. Just grabbing all sorts of stuff here. For our power production. And yeah, it's low gravity here, so there's not a lot of fall damage, but... With a high enough fall, or long enough fall, you do take some damage. Uh, and let's just put a or three maybe minor down here after we kill this thing.
Okay, that was a miss, but it worked. Okay. Then we just leave them a bit of time for mining. Love these colors. Why is it purple? Is it just the sunset? I guess it is. It looks a bit weird, but maybe that's just me. This looks very weird, actually. Is this a block? This does not look correct at all. I don't remember having seen that ever, but I guess it is just the color of the sun setting. Okay, let's take all of this and go back. Okay, so for this we needed five iron rods and eight cover wire. Should be easy enough. Did I say five iron rods? Probably. six of these or something like that. Let's just make a good amount of them. We might as well put down more smelters I guess so we don't have to do that ourselves all the time. Oh, we need more rods then but okay. Let's do this first. Is this aligned? It is. And let's leave some space between this and the hub for belts and stuff. But this should be fine. And then we need to power these. Can't afford cable. Can't afford because we don't have any cables. So let's build some cables. I think those are just used for powering stuff. Good. So this is now powered. And we'll smelt some iron for us. Good. Well, let's take the output of this. We need it for rods, so we can make even more smelter. We need at least one more for copper smelting, but I think we want even more for more iron smelting. So why not? Oh, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think we can power these on at the moment because all these connections only allow one wire or cable going out of them, so we can't do this. We will have to go after our next hub upgrade instead. So let's do that. So this allows us to get constructors, power poles, which allow us to power more things, concrete, which is, which is used for power poles and other stuff. And some more advanced stuff here. So let's go for this. So 20 plates. That's not enough. That should be enough for the plates. Let's make the wire then. Oh, we need cover ingots first. Good, that's the wire. Then we need 20 steel rod or oh, iron rods. We already have 17, so it's not that much more. There we go. And then we're ready for the next upgrade. So now we get a roof and some interior to this room. Congratulations. It's you have unlocked scanning feature limestone. New buildings and recipes which can be found a in the build lady. menu and craft bench respectively. Okay. Eighth objective. Complete hub upgrade four. Note. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. 
So we need power poles now, and they require concrete, and we make concrete out of limestone. So we can scan for limestone, but there should be some over here somewhere. There, apparently. But we need a portable mining drill, a portable miner for that. And we need plate and iron rods for that. Let's just go with three for that as well. It's not that we need a lot of concrete yet, so this might be overkill, but let's just do it for now. I think that thing's taking up over there is limestone, so that is what we're going for. This right here is limestone. Yes. Uh, these things. And I'm really just putting down several of these so they can store up to 300 instead of just 100 limestone. As I don't want to run over here all the time, so when I do, I would prefer to get three stacks as opposed to one. I think this is more than enough to get started. We just need it for the power pole, after all. Should we just take this ore as well? Might as well, right? Put it in there. Grab this. Okay, so power poles require wire, steel or iron rods and concrete. So let's make some concrete first of all. Good. Iron rods. Good amount of those, let's make some plate as well. Okay. So well, because I've played this before, I think I want one here. And another one over here. And then we need to remove this wire. And connect these instead, like that. Because then we can make another smelter if we have more wire at least. So we need that. Good. Let's just do some inventory management here. That should be fine. Oh, carapace, might as well go in. And we can line up these buildings by building control while building. That will snap them to these light blue lines here, or teal lines. And we will just use that. Oh, was that? No, never mind. We can even put up another one. Sure, why not? So, how about we also make iron in this? Power it up. Power this up. And smelt power all here. So now we're starting to have some basic stuff automated. 
but unfortunately that's all we have time for in this episode so thank you all for joining me and after we kill this one whoops i will see you next time just in a sec thank you bye